Well, there were four really big reasons to hit the theater. Well, really six, if you count all of the Avengers, right, Bob? Exactly. <laughs> uh, there was nothing else going on at box offices this weekend. And for good reason. They didn't want to deal with that. <laughs> That's right. The Hulk and his buddies smashed box office records over the weekend as Marvel's The Avengers broke the all-time opening weekend record as it pulled in just over $200 million in three days. That breaks the record set by Harry Potter's final installment, which did $169 million. Think Like a Man was second with $8 million, and The Hunger Games was third. Chico and Rita, now at the flicks, is an animated movie that is most definitely not for kids. With a cool, distinctive look, this compelling Cuban love story features wonderful music and interesting cameos from jazz greats from the 40s. This is as much of a love letter to jazz as it is to love. Four and a half stars out of five. Marvel's The Avengers took a while for me to get into, but it did win me over. Maybe it was Scarlett Johansson's spandex that did it. Robert Downey Jr. stole the movie, although each of the characters get their chance to shine. Most surprising to me was, was Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. He's terrific, and for the first time, the Hulk looks like he should. I guess the third time really is the charm. I even like Thor. Filled with action, one-liners, humor, and feeling, this is a pretty terrific movie. And by now, we know better than to leave a Marvel movie before the last of the end credits roll, don't we? This time, there are two extra scenes. It's probably the most fun you'll have in the movie theater this year. Four and a half stars out of five. And for my past reviews and more, go to my website, BobRichardsMovieReviews.com or link to it at KIVITV.com. And you got to wonder, great, $200 million, that's incredible. It is absolutely But fantastic. nothing else was out this weekend, so that's true. does that have a little bit to do it with it? It could have a little to do with it, but I think it was going to be huge no matter what. What about Dark Knight Rises later in the year? You think it's going to possibly break that one? Could be. I mean, that was the one of the previous record holders. I think it's third on the all-time biggest opening list, the last Batman installment. So, but Those Avengers did 80 million its first day. Wow. wow. So right. tons of money. Good. I, I got to see it myself as well. Also enjoyed it. Good movie. Get out and see it when you can.